Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial. In the last part we set up the logic and animation states for the idle in our flashlight system. The next step is to add the pull out and height animations. So we need to create an animation montage for both. Right click on the animation sequence, choose create, create anim montage and double click to open it. Go to the Anim Slot Manager tab. If you don't see it, go to the Windows menu and select it. Click on Add Slot and name it Overlay Anim, for example. Click on the slot drop down of the default slot, go to Slot Name and choose Overlay Anim. Save and close. If we reopen it, you'll see our height animation is now in the Overlay Anim slot. Then create a montage from the pull out animation, open it and change the slot name to Overlay Anim. Save and close. OK, now go to the Sandbox character blueprint. Here we'll trigger those montages whenever the flashlight is toggled. Right click and search for Play Montage. Drag the Character Mesh component to the graph and connect it to the In Skeletal Mesh component pin. Select the Height Montage in the Content Browser and click the small arrow icon to assign it to the Play Montage node. If we click the mouse button and our flashlight on off variable is 1, so the flashlight is actually in use, we want to play the Height Montage. So connect it right after the variable is set back to zero. Then duplicate the play montage and the skeletal mesh node, exchange the montage asset with a pull out montage and connect it to the second set variable node. Compile and save. Now switch to the anim graph of the animation blueprint. Let's add our overlay anim slot to the graph. Right click and search for slot. Select the default slot, then go to the Details panel and choose Overlay Anim as the slot name. Then again we need a layered blend per bone node to make sure we only overlay the upper part of the body. Connect the slot node to the blend pose input. For the base pose and the source input of the slot, we need the actual pose of the character. So let's use a cached pose again. This time from the end of the idle switch chain. Name it something like idle pose. Right click and search for use cached pose idle pose. Duplicate it and connect one to the base input of the layered blend node and the other one to the source input of the slot. Finally select the layered blend the bone node. In its details panel Add a new branch filter element. For the bone name, let's use spine underscore zero one, so we get the whole upper body movement. Then connect the output pin to the offset root bone node. Compile and save. If we now hit play, the height and pull out animations are perfectly integrated into our flashlight system. In the next step, we'll attach the actual flashlight mesh to the character's hand. I got this one from sketchfab.com, link in the description, but you can use any mesh you like. So open the sandbox character blueprint. Select the mesh component and double click on the skeletal mesh asset. In the skeleton tree search for the right hand bone. Right click and add a socket. Name it Flashlight. Right click on the socket and add a preview mesh. Choose your flashlight. To get the correct pose, select the flashlight idle animation as the preview animation and pause it. Now you can scale, rotate and move the flashlight until it looks natural. Save and switch back to the blueprint's viewport. Select the character mesh and add the static mesh component. Sign your flashlight mesh in the details panel and set the parent socket to the one you just created. 
Next, select the flashlight and add a light component. Make sure it's the child of a flashlight mesh. For this tutorial, I'm using a point light, but you can use a spotlight as well. To make placement easier, select the character and temporarily set the animation mode to asset. Otherwise, the character will keep moving. Now, place the light in front of the flashlight. You can play around with the light settings, color, intensity and so on, to get your desired flashlight look. Finally, set the character's animation mode back to blueprint. Let's also turn off the visibility of both the flashlight mesh and the light in their details panel. Since we'll control that in the event graph. Compile and save. Switch back to the event graph to add a few final notes. After the pull-out montage is triggered, we want to set the flashlight's visibility to on, but not immediately. Open the pull-out montage, scrub through the animation until the hand reaches the belt and note the timestamp. Go back to the event graph, drag from the pull-out montage pin and add a delay note. Set the value to your recorded timestamp. From the delays output, add a set visibility note and select the one that says flashlight. This way the static mesh will automatically be assigned to the target pin. Then enable the checkbox. Next add another delay note, followed by another set visibility note, this time for the point light so the light turns on about one second later. Now repeat the same logic for the height montage, but in reverse. First turn the light's visibility off, this time without any delay. Then watch the height montage to find the right moment to turn off the flashlight mesh visibility. Add a delay node and a set visibility note for the flashlight mesh. Compile and save. Done! Hit play and check if everything works. Adjust the light settings if needed and have fun! That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!